Hey, I'm Dragon. Today's tutorial is a quick one where I'll make a Szafinski triangle. So, without any further ado, let's make it. First, add a cone, then change the depth to 1, and change the vertices to 3. Then turn on snapping, and change the snap type to vertexes. Then duplicate the triangle in edit mode, and move it to one of the corner vertexes that you want the triangle to snap to. It's worth mentioning that it will snap to the vertex that your cursor was closest to when you duplicated it, or started to move it. But then you can follow this process until you have your first triangle. With the first triangle, you can then duplicate all of those triangles to create an even bigger triangle. You can then continue this process until you get a gigantic triangle if you want. Once you've decided you have a big enough triangle, you can go into edit mode and select all faces and vertexes into M and merge by distance. This should solve some issues that you may have when adding a solidify modifier. Which, speaking of that, you can add the solidify modifier and change the thickness until it has joints between the triangles. But make sure you change the mode to complex. If you have any issues, it's likely because you have faces inside the mesh, which you'll need to delete. But there we have it. We basically have this triangle. The only thing you'll notice is if you do happen to apply the solidify modifier or try and 3D print it, it has gigantic holes in it. And that is because the solidify modifier is doing exactly what it's saying and adding thickness to it. So technically there's still an inside to it. This means in order to get rid of it, we'd need to delete it after applying it. So we can do this by going and creating a vertex group and assigning this vertex group under the solidify modifier under where it says shell. Once this is done, you can apply the solidify modifier, and if you go and hit select on the vertex group, it will select all those inner vertexes, and we can delete them, and boom, we're done. Well, there we have it. It's very simple to create this triangle. If you just want this triangle, it's over on Prusa Printers. Otherwise, here are some renders I did with this triangle, and thanks for watching. Bye!